Hi, good Monday morning. Welcome to the Lower Lights Devotional with Pastor Hayton here. Seems like in today's world there's a lot of emphasis on beauty. I mean, we talk about the beauty of, that surrounds us, and God certainly gave us a beautiful world in which to live. I mentioned in our sermon last night how God has blessed America with so much beauty. You can go just about any direction that you want to go, and you're going to discover the beauty of nature. We want beautiful homes. We do the very best that we can to live in a beautiful home, and we want beautiful furnishings in that home. We want beautiful clothes in the closet and on our bodies. We want to drive a beautiful automobile. We want to uh, uh, surround ourselves with beauty in every way that we can. And then have you noticed in the department stores, Walmart and the drug stores, how there's such a big beauty department where you can find all kinds of things, uh, cosmetics and other uh, things that are designed to make you beautiful. And there's a lot of advertisement on the TV and radio that are trying to convince us that if we'll buy their product or do what they're telling us to do, that we'll be a beautiful person. Well, there's nothing wrong with beauty. I know God likes beauty because He created such a beautiful world and He's given me such beautiful grandchildren and grandchildren, so I know that God must really like beauty. But you know the most important beauty is what we used to sing of uh, when we were kids and young people, let the beauty of Jesus be seen in me. And I think about the most important beauty today is not what others see when they look at the physical, but it's the beauty of Jesus seen in our life. Now his beauty was certainly seen in his attitude toward others. One thing that we know about Christ is that he loved people. And I know that everywhere he went, he found ways to manifest his love. I know that Christ had compassion upon people. And his beauty is seen in the compassionate spirit that he always showed. The love and the compassion that Jesus showed. He was beautiful in his character. In the Bible says that he was above sin. He, uh, he lived such a life that was above reproach, and I think that certainly we must admire the beauty of his character. So the beauty of his nature, that of love and mercy and compassion, the beauty of his character should be the beauty that we all strive for. Now that's the only one way that I can think of that the beauty of Christ is seen in us, and that is to open our heart and allow him to take up residence in our life. And if indeed Jesus lives within our heart, then his beauty is going to be seen. So the most important beauty is not that of the outward appearance. It's not those things, those possessions, those physical uh, things that we surround ourselves with. It's a beautiful spirit that reflects the spirit and the life of Christ. I want the beauty of Jesus to be seen in me. That little chorus, if I remember it right, says, Let the beauty of Jesus be seen in me. All his purity, passion, and... Well, I've got the words all wrong.